Hello, I'm Martin Fenska and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Civilization V as the Aztecs. The plan for today is to destroy a Syrian army because I think we don't have enough time to destroy the army and uh, take his cities. The army is surprisingly strong, even his units that are like uh, obsolete by now somehow are surviving multiple attacks from our veterans. So yeah, this may take a while and also he has the Great Wall which means we won't be able to take advantage of our mobile units. Uh, I think this might actually be a pain in the ass. Uh, favorable terrain for defense combined with the Great Wall and the decent army. This may take a while. But uh, I was thinking maybe we could just uh, force him to send some units south. Uh, I already moved some units off camera, like our ships, the, those are now heading to our territory. We will get navigation in one turn, so I want to be ready for uh, all the upgrades. And I've sent uh, some crossbowmen this way to this area. Uh, there is one uh, Australian crossbowman, and maybe we can just attack here. I don't want to take the city. We could do it easily, but um, I want to vassalize Assyria, so I don't want to uh, damage him too much. All I want from him are these two cities, because I kind of have to take them. There is no way I'd be able to take Assur without taking this city as well, just not enough room to maneuver here. Uh, and I want to get rid of this city, of course. Then the rest, I'll just leave undamaged if possible, so that we have another decent-ish ally or vassal. Okay, where do we start? Let's start here. I already started moving towards the city and I've decided to upgrade some of these garrison units. I will uh, use them for some of these fights. So I'll start with an upgrade here. Uh, you can move, you can move and also I'll move this crossbowman. Uh, I want him to be in the range of the city. He is damaged, so it's likely that the air will target him. And he's standing inside our territory, so I'll just leave him here. Uh, keep healing him, and maybe he can just keep soaking the damage from the city. Uh, and the air leaves other units uh, do their thing. What else can we do? We'll hide in the forest. And what about you? We'll go south. We'll get ready for that uh, crossbowman. I don't think we need the Stercio for this siege. It's just important that our cannons can sh keep shooting. But, um, I think one or maybe two Tercios can take the city easily. Okay, to the north. I also send the knight and another uh, heavy skirmisher south. We'll probably need our whole army to solve this problem. Um... Where do we start? We start by killing the heavy skirmisher. That sounds like a very good plan. Then we can proceed by killing the pikeman. Next, I can move here. And hopefully, the knight has enough damage to kill the compost bowman. Yep, so that's three kills for us. But, I see more and more crossbowmen now. Hmm. Well, let's try to get this knight behind them. Maybe one more. Can we send one more unit down there? Maybe this knight? that moving our squish units this close is a good idea but we should be fine let's move the knight i probably should 
give these units some more targets. Uh, make sure they don't all target this one knight. If they all attack him, he'll die most likely. Send you down as well, and I'll even send the Tercio. Oh, please, please kill him. That oh, doesn't look promising anymore. For a second, it looked like we might be able to get another kill. Damn it, five hit points. Crap. Okay. Let's see what happens. Okay-ish, I would say. My cartridge is not terrible anymore. So there is navigation. And what did we get? Interesting. City's growing. Yeah, let's grab my food. That sounds good. And now we can finally stop working the water tiles. They're not that bad anymore. Oh, and uh, Japan declared on uh, Carthage. That might be a problem because if he sends his whole fleet, he can uh, capture some Carthaginian cities, probably. And the last thing we need. Is Japan or Japanese vassal on our side of the continent? I think I'll actually send our fleet to like this area and make sure that Japan can't win the war against Carthage. That would be a disaster if uh, Carthage ended up as a Japanese vassal and not as our vassal. Let's move everything back. First we want to repair. I'll only upgrade ships that are fully repaired. On. Seriously? No, it was enough. Again, the tooltip lied. But this time, I'm not gonna complain. Maybe we can send the bike man and even attack. Every bit of uh, damage helps. Okay, castle doctrine. What do you want to get from our castles? Uh, one culture is not good enough. We don't need faith, that's for sure. So we are left with either plus two food or plus two production. I think I'll go for food because food means more people and more people means more production. Production is not bad. Either though, this is quite tough. This is better long term. Yeah, I think I'll still go for the food. What's 
and research. Okay, I would really like to get rifling, but um, we can't neglect science. There's still one save that we can't reach. Um, I'm speaking about uh, actually two saves, Japan and Polynesia. So we have to make sure that we stay ahead. Even with the Navy, it will take a while until we can get to them uh, with the fleet strong enough to take them down. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, we can't neglect science. Let's go architecture, economics, scientific theory. After that, we can maybe go down and grab rifling. I'll see after that. And back to fighting. I'll try to play it safe. Want to overextend. Or can this horse move? Uh, well, he can embark. How bad idea is that? I would have to block this tile then, but that's fine, we can use the, the Tercio for that. Or we can also just pillage the tile and run away. Look at all the crossbowmen, what the hell? We kill one of them maybe. Even with the flanking bonus, it's not enough. Well, I'll still attack. At least force him to retreat. Yeah, what I'm hoping is that they they move towards us, get in the range of our cannons and crossbowmen, and that should make it easier to kill them. I can't move into uh, Assyrian territory, uh, the uh, Great Wall will just destroy me. Okay. And it works, perfect. have pillaged the deer before I moved. Oh, just pillage the farm then, not the big deal, we can just move every turn and pillage one tile. Okay, next. Um, worker can just run, uh, I don't know, to this iron. For our ships, you can have this way, and we have reinforcements arriving. Uh, I think I'll try to send this knight this RL. We could take out all these crossbowmen, that would make our life much easier. Go.
No, I don't want peace tree day. Not too bad. And India wants wine. He even has enough money to pay for it, but I think I'll just give him some resources. He's uh, behind average now, so he'll have big problems with unhappiness. Um, and we don't really need, I don't know, 10, 11 gold per turn, not a big deal round. What I was thinking is that I could give him all our paper so that uh, he can start um, uh, pumping those diplomatic units. We are not using paper at all. So I was thinking about this. Maybe I can always get the vassal and give him all my paper that I can get and, and let him get all the diplomatic units uh, and get... Uh, allied with city-states because during wars those city-states will be basically fighting for us but more importantly uh, this will steal allies from uh, potentially dangerous AIs it might be a good move although India is very weak so maybe what we could do wait until we vassalize Carthage and then give all our paper to Carthage uh, she already has quite a few allies so she is working on diplomacy. This will just help her get more. Uh, let's start moving. And here are some of the upgrades. Okay, repair. Repairs as well, but we don't have tiles, so we'll have to wait. Wait. Now the knight move back finally. Oh, this looks like a very bad move. I still can't kill him with just one attack. Let's stay in the forest. If they want to move closer, fine by me. Get some vision. Maybe I should have. Actually, I. Wouldn't help moving through this style. That Great Wall is so annoying. I want to have vision around here if he's sending more units or if this is everything he has. Or it seems that he's doing what we want him to do. Oh, the worker. I'll have to rebuild these tiles a little bit because having these two villages next to the road sounds pretty stupid. Probably better to have a village here and here. So let's build farms on these tiles. That's what we have to start with. You will stay where you are.
I be able to kill this crossbowman? I just realized. Move back. Because we can use the road. There we go. Right. Killing. Oh, and the skirmisher is probably ready. Join the fight. Send him this way. The knight as well. Need to get rid of all these crossbowmen. And I've just realized something. Uh, one of the main reasons why I started this city was the coffee, right? Because we don't have a single copy. And it's like 200 turns maybe since we started the city, maybe even more, and we still don't have that coffee. Uh, way to go. At least we have a worker that can go there. We even have two workers that can go there. One can work on the coffee, the other one can work on the iron. I don't think that there are any uh, units that, or units, any ships that would be able to uh, kill those workers. Famous last words. I don't have aqueduct here. I don't even have council here. Yeah, let's grab council. You're thinking about sending the, this Tercio down. So now we are using our experienced units as uh, garrison. Yeah, let's do it. You can go this way and I'll send the general to this area. We could use the uh, the boost from the great general. I should have done that uh, sooner. Okay, next turn. Here are our crossbowmen that just arrived. Go. Don't kill any of my units. Are so good. Are taking damage, but we always can just run away. was a misclick by the way. Uh, for some reason I was convinced that the Tercio isn't ours and I was trying to shoot him and yeah, instead they just swap places. Not the end of the world, just saying that that's not exactly what I was planning. Okay, can we get a kill? We can, perfect. I don't know why, but units on this side doesn't seem to be as tough as units here. Oh, and he did send units south when he saw the knight. That's good. Just move back, and if he can lure his units to this RL, then 
He can then just somehow separate them from the city and just fight his army here and take the city meanwhile. Okay. We have the damage. We may have the damage. Good. Even should have the damage to kill the pikeman now. Yeah, let's do it. Did we have to move back? It's still too early to move the cannons forward. It's too many units. Wait. And now without the garrison the city should fall pretty quickly. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. Oh, this is not finished. Um, in that case, I'll just move away. Still have one more melee unit here to capture the city. That's all that we need. Get ivory or truffles from someone. America has truffles, but he hates us, so it's probably gonna be expensive. He's not even willing to sell it. Can we get embassy? No. Uh, what about... Japan may have. Yeah, he has ivory, but not enough. And again, expensive as hell. What about Catherine? At least have embassy? No. Okay, so probably won't be able to get Will of the King Day anywhere. University. No forest or jungles around the city, but it still gives a lot of science. 521 science per turn is not that much. I'm used to having more this uh, stage of the game. So I should focus on science a lot more. Okay, perfect. He's sending the, some of the crossbowmen south, so he is dividing his army. food that's a horrible tile let's, let's get more science okay and 
Back to the fighting. I think now we could try to send our cannons. How many attacks does the skirmisher have? The one. Probably isn't enough to get a kill. Damn it! He could try just to rush the city sure if it's gonna work but it's worth a try Okay, let's get ready. If he tries to move the crossbowman closer, we have a surprise for him. Okay. Um, this knight might be in trouble. I don't think. Oh, they may have the damage to kill him. Be unfortunate. We'll see. Again, I have to rely on the ass inability to focus enough attacks on one unit. Well, seems that this time they managed to figure out how to do it. But they are leaving the city unprotected now, basically. So I think that's worth it. Uh, worth the sacrifice. As long as it's only that one night. Yeah, we didn't lose anything else. Our knights are not that experienced. I think I'm willing to accept this loss. I don't have a choice, but... You know what I mean. Might be a problem though.
Okay, I think that should be fine. I can't really get behind them yet. Wait, we are not on the hill, that's why I can't hit him. Oh, this will slow him down. And I can try it. Don't work, but he can only move one tile now. So we'll kill him next turn. Okay, any more upgrades? No, not yet. But we upgrade, where is it? Here. Scarabell. That's why not. And we just got a free Corvette. Okay, that's quite convenient. So, first it is ours. That was the easy one, but to the north, I want to raise this one immediately. This is actually a problem. Need to leave these units around the city because of uh, partisans they'll be definitely spawning get more food Possible we don't have any tiles that we could work. Okay, we'll just work the library. We need the science. Fine. Okay, next. Look at the damage. Those crossbowmen are deadly.
I'll leave these Corvettes here and look at Japan. Is he really going for this island? At least it'll be easy to take. And there they are. We somehow prevent them from moving. I think we can. How many people do we have here? 19. Uh, it should be enough to work the Artist Guild. I uh, don't really care what we're gonna do here. I want to raise the city. And there is Japanese fleet. We may have to declare. Let's just save all the damaged units. And I think I'll make a cut here. I'll have to think about what I want to do now. I know what I want to do, just have to figure out how to do it. How much damage can we do to this city? Oh, yeah, I think it will be safer if I just give myself some time to think about how we're gonna play it. And I hope that in the next episode we'll be able to finally break through, capture the city. Once we get the city, it should be much easier because then we can just uh, create a defensive line here, something like this. I have three cannons standing on these tiles. Just destroy Asur. It shouldn't be a problem. Just the city with the terrain around it. Such a pain in the ass. And we are about to get another great profit. That's insane how much culture we are. I mean culture fate we are generating in this game. Hello. Just noticed. I'm saying no to that. So yeah, uh, this will be all for this episode. As usual, I hope that you liked it. I hope that you're going to join me for the next one again. And until then, have a good time. Bye-bye.